Mm. Oh no, I was taking a sip of my water. Oh my gosh. Hello everyone, <laughs> and welcome to The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. Oh god, that was really poor timing on my part. <laughs> uh, could you turn down the light please, Zelda? It's good that I'm finally um, starting this game again after I've been so uh, in involved in the world of Tears of the Kingdom because holy crap, I kind of miss the old Hyrule. Even though this kind of looks like, um, you know, a tech demo compared to the new game, but it still holds a place in my heart. Ugh, the particles are amazing. Wake up, Link. Hi, Link. Did you enjoy your hundred year long sauna? I can't believe it's already been, um, already seven years. Yeah. Yeah, seven years since this game came out. Well, first of all, this was my first Zelda game. I popped my Zelda cherry with this one. <laughs> And, um, yeah, I got it for Christmas that year, um, with my Switch, and I could not put it down. I was playing it all the time. So I know this Hyrule by the back of my hand. Will I ever speed run the game? Probably not, but I don't know. I might give it a shot one day, but today's not that day. <laughs> today we're just going through it. Ooh, a pedestal. It's all glowy and blue. Here we go. Whoa, it's a futuristic Nintendo Switch. That is a Sheikah Slate. Uh uh, it's a Switch. Take anyway. It. <laughs> it will help guide you after your long slumber. Thank you, telepathic Zelda. Sheikah Slate, a mysterious tablet with a glowing center. You've never seen this device before, and yet, there's something familiar about it. Here we go. I'm nude. Ow. My foot. Most people like to run around in just the undies, but you know what? I'm gonna be decent and actually wear some clothes. Hold the Sheikah Slate up to the pedestal. No! That will show you the way. That's a very loose looking belt. What even? Well, okay, never mind. <laughs> That pouch is small, considering uh, how many things you can hold in it. Sheikah Slate confirmed! Opening door. Ah, fuck, it's bright. Link. You are the light. Our light. That must shine upon Hyrule once again. You got it. Now go. You know what, I feel like going back to lie down for another hundred years. See ya. Anyway, here we go. Oh, this is going to be nostalgic even for only seven years. Here we go, title screen. Oh, it's so nice. We're home. Oh, this was a game changer for real, though. Like, it was the best game in recent memory compared to anything else I've played before. And I assume a lot better than previous Zeldas, even though I've never played them. Yet. Emphasis on the word yet. Mmm, <laughs> the Temple of Time. I've definitely watched a number of um, playthroughs and theory videos on the lore and other games and stuff, so... I'm a little well versed in that too. Ooh, a shtick. I mean, a tree branch. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know if I'll ever speed run the game, but I've definitely thought about it. Committing is a different thing altogether. I'd probably have to, like, do a live stream, and I've still yet to do one. Because, like, I feel like I don't have the proper setup, and... Oh, I scared everything off. Nar. Anyway. I would need a better setup and stuff uh, than what I'm working with now. And I would actually need more time, I feel like, outside of uh, my classes. Why am I pushing this boulder? I don't really need to. But I want to, because I like the physics. Roll away! You big lug. Hello, mysterious old man. Thank you for your apple. I beg your pardon! I do believe that is my baked apple. You can't just go... <laughs> oh lord. You can't just go about taking whatever you please. Oh ho! Forgive me, I cannot resist pulling your leg. Please help yourself. 
An apple and an open flame make for a succulent treat. It's a bit of blah 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 bye. <laughs> Wait, why? <laughs> Imagine how rude he's just like trying to give you some advice and you're like, see ya. Uh, where are you rushing off to now? Is speaking with a strange old man truly such an awful use of your time? What brings a bright-eyed young man like you to a place like this? Where are we? Answering a question with a question, that is fair enough. As I cannot imagine our meeting to be a simple coincidence, I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. He's so tall. <laughs> Look over there. Mm, that temple there, long ago, it was the site of many sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the kingdom 100 years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay. Yet another forgotten entity, a mere ghost of its former self. He looks so much darker skin than I remember him being. <laughs> I bet it's just the lighting. Well then, just help, <laughs> just help yourself to that torch there. And how, may I ask, are you planning to use it? As a weapon! Innovative. However, that is probably best to use life used to light fires. If you need a weapon, you can find something better. Many beasts roam the... Uh, <laughs> I can't stop messing up. Okay. Many beasts roam the land past this point. You can take my axe with you if you please, assuming you can find it. You mean that one oh, over there? It's very well within my line of sight because it's... Well, okay, whatever. However, do not just swing it around without purpose. You must face your opponents and lock your sights on them. Buttons! Like this? Yeah? <laughs> Easy there. Alright. Thanks for your axe. I feel like I still need to get used to this compared to, um, you know, tears, because some of the... some of the mechanics got swapped around. Just collecting sticks so I can bash a bunch of bokoblins in the skull. Uh, Zelda, stop. Leave me alone. I know what to do. Head for the point marked Not canonically, the but... I will later. Zelda, tell me what to do, Mom. Alright, here we go. Whee! Splash. Oh god, you're ugly. You found me, huh? You're not Hestu. But you can see me? I didn't know your kind could see the children of the forest. Well, if you run into Hestu, please return this to him. It's my golden shit. Don't be shy about poking your nose into suspicious places. You got it, dude. Ugh. This game still looks beautiful as ever. And I'm so glad that I finally, um, got my capture card earlier today. I got an ancient spring. I'm glad that I got my, um, capture card earlier today. Um, because now I can record Switch games and stuff like that. Um... Honestly, this was something I um, thought about doing like way down the line after I've, you know, had my channel maybe like for a year. But doing it now, kind of just introducing everything early on. I feel like um, that's kind of the, you know, just get it out of the way. I feel like that's a good deal. And if there's any new Switch games coming on, um, I could always play those. Although, I feel like, uh oh, he didn't hear me, I don't think. Oh, tiny little yellow butterfly. But considering the Switch is already, uh, Near the end of its life cycle, as, you know, people have been saying. I don't know. Something else might be in order. Alright, come on, turn around. And sneak strike! Rest in peace. Thank you for your club. The Boko Club. And your horn! He's a... A horny little man, anyway. <laughs> Gross. I hope you don't mind, goddess, uh, that I'm destroying all your pots. I'm a link, I can't help it. All right, there's a bow. Thank you for the bow. Um, let me see here. And a chest. Got a nice little chest. With a stronger bow. Let me just precariously climb on here. Hello. You have a soul patch. Thank you for your little poo. I suppose it's- oop, uh-oh. <laughs> well, I tried not to run that far, I tried to turn around, and then it just- yeah. I suck. I suck at this game. Let me go take out a- a couple more bokoblins. And then I'll make my way to the tower. Hello. Boko people. 
Don't turn around. Don't do it. You'll you'll regret it. If I hide behind this wall. Oh shoot. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um. More branches. Here we go. Thank you. That bacobin fang. Here's the uh. What was it? Like stronger, slightly stronger shirt. Oh. Uh oh. I've been spotted. Open. Open the chest. Oh no, it's trousers. All right. I was wrong. All right, time to knock you out. Oops. Time to <laughs> knock you out. All right, thank you for your stick. Ah, uh, the days of when Hyrule Castle was still lodged in the ground. All right, time to assassinate. Get crushed. Hooray. Capture. Oop. Nar. You scared away the butterflies. Hooray. I feel like hooray is probably the the least uh fitting thing to say after you've just murdered somebody. I just killed a guy. Hooray. Okay. Ooh, there's a butterfly. I just like collecting things. If I've done it once and I don't have to experience the da -da 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 thing every time. There we go. Summer wing butterfly. Sounds like a character from Star vs. the Forces of Evil. Another goblin to ambush. Oops, I ran out of stamina. I forgot I am weak in the start of this game. Well, I mean, I didn't forget, but I am weak at the start of the game. Who would have thought? Don't notice me. Death. Thank you. I have a shield now. I love how they're just conversing. And I'm sneaking up right behind them. Loincloth dangling about. Death. Alright, thank you. I'm gonna kill these guys and then to the tower. Alright. It's almost cutscene time. Place the slate in the pedestal. I love you. He's checking it out. He's like, are you sure about this? Alright, if you say so. Please watch for falling rocks. I really do wonder what happened uh, to the the Sheikah technology um, by the next game. Like, if it all just got repurposed. Well, wait, didn't they answer that already? I don't remember. This style is so cool. It's like organically futuristic, if that makes sense. I don't know. Great plot, Totawa. Distilling local information. Could you imagine if this was actually um, how we distributed information from a, a weirdly shaft-like uh, structure and something blue and sticky like pre- Anyway, sorry, my mind is in the gutter right now. <laughs> Regional map of the plateau. There we go. Ah, oh, great. Let me just diverge from that conversation. Monologue? I'm not talking to anyone else. Remember who you are, Simba. You my brain still hurts from my hundred year hangover. Hundred years. The beast. Here we go. The beast regains its true power. This world will face its end. Ghostly pig Ganon. Or whatever. Sure, a calamity of himself. Huh? That's one thing we can agree on. You must hurry, Link. But like, don't. It doesn't matter. Before There's no timer. It's too late. Man, I really actually kind of wish there was a timer. Kind of like uh, the moon and Majora's Mask. Like, if you had a couple of weeks or something before everything went to chaos. That would make the game substantially harder. Even though I know about um, some of the glitches like the fall damage cancel, I can't perform them because I've literally never tried. I've had all this time, yet I've never done it. <laughs> Whoa, you came out of nowhere. This tower and others just like it have erupted across the land, one after another. It is almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. If you, do not, uh, if you don't mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you were atop of that tower? I heard a voice! Well now, a voice you say? You're schizophrenic. Um, <laughs> and did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? No, I don't know the voice actress, I'm sorry. I see, well that is unfortunate. 
I assume you caught sight of that atrocity enshrouding the castle. That is Calamity Ganon. One hundred years ago, the four <laughs> nations lived in harmony. That vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake, including mine. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There it festers, building its strength uh, for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. It really doesn't feel like it, I'm sorry. <laughs> it really doesn't. I must ask you, courageous one. Do you intend to make your way to the castle? Um, I do. I had a feeling you would say that. Here on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. If you were to try to jump off, well, no death could be more certain or more foolish. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, hand it over! Oh, ho, certainly. Why not? But there's no such thing as a free item in this world, you know. Let's see now. <laughs> How about I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? A, a young man such as yourself. Anyway, come, let me show you something. I don't want to know, mister. I feel like these jokes are too on the nose. I'm sorry. <laughs> Talk. Don't be hasty now. Just follow me. All right, I know where to go. Who needs you? Then I promptly drown and die. Um, well, let me catch some fish while we're at it. Because I know I'm going to need that spicy meat and seafood fry later. All right, to the Magneto Shrine. Let's pick up a few parts for Pura. The ancient shaft. Some kind of joke on there. When, you're, when your man is a sugar daddy and he... <laughs> anyway. Something about an ancient shaft. What was the name of the shrine? I, I don't remember. The name of the monk. It was something weird. Oh yeah, I have the DLC for this. Oh man, aw. That brings back memories of the Game Grumps playthrough. Oh man, aw. Ah, Ruby. If only I had a complimentary sapphire to go with it. Together they make a garnet. How many references can I make in the first episode? Blue, blue, blue. And futuristic things. Man, that ultra hand though. Kinda miss it. Cause like, now I can only pick metal things up. The other one I could just pick anything up and build them together. That was a crazy power up. All those power ups were just next, well quite literally next level. Hmm, <laughs> magnesis. Manipulate me metallic objects using magnetism. That's how a magnet works. All right. Away. Thank you. I watched, um, I have a friend who only started playing Breath of the Wild for the first time last year. And she was super into it, uh, just because, oops, I was not paying attention. <laughs> Hold on a second. I'm coming back up from my swim. There we go. Just collect your things. All right. Um, I had a friend who um, had only just gotten into Breath of the Wild last year. And I was very adamant about encouraging her to continue playing the game whenever, uh, you know, we had free time. And by we, I mean, like, when she had free time to play and when I had free time to watch. Um, because it was fun. It was just fun watching her fail miserably at some of these puzzles. I lost my train of thought because I'm just thinking about what kind of voice to give this crotchety old monk. You unleash the curse! You have proved. Ugh. You have proven to possess the resolve of a true hero. Oh, I skipped it. Oops. <laughs> I didn't even. <laughs> Whatever. I got a spirit orb. Everyone knows how the game goes. May the goddess smile upon you. I'm dead. No stone unturned. Wildlife taking shelter under a rock will sometimes jump out when you lift up their hiding place. All right. Ho! Oh! Oh, that's where your mom is. It seems you've managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. Well done. How did you know? <laughs> Clairvoyance. Oh, or perhaps just something similar. As one gets older, I'm pretty sure I'm changing this voice unintentionally, so sorry. Uh, sorry in advance. As one gets old. Oh, I just changed it again. I almost did the monk's voice that I was going to give up before I skipped it. 
As one gets older, it it can become more difficult to see what is right before one's own eyes. Alright, skip, skip, skip. We get it. Something about your Sheikah slate. What do you mean? Blah, 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 blah. We, we know the tutorial. Mm-hmm. He's like, you're not listening to me, are you? That wasn't the deal. I don't care. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Got it. Wow. River of the Dead. That sounds fun. Thank you, old man, for nothing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'm going to wait a moment um, before I go to the next shrine because I want to kill a boar and then create that special meal that provides me a, a coat. <laughs> he provides me a coat. Where are the boars? Bring me the boars. Ooh, Karak. Come out, come out, wherever you are. You have the same face as that other one I found earlier. Thank you for your seed. Let's see. What can I steal from this old man's camp? Um, let me just climb up this tree very loudly. Alright, can I make it? I think I'm too weak. Oh, never mind. I thought I was uh, too weak. I might have to turn off the... Motion controls for this. One, one second. And with motion controls off. Perfect. Well, I've got some meat. And I got some boar too. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to go over here because that's a, that's a scary walk monster. How about some bees? Not the bees! Mmm. Delicious honey. Where are the other boars? Did I already scare them off? Because I wasn't paying attention and I'm just jelly dallying. Oh, there's one over there, but they're they're already occupied. Is this the corpse of the old Deku tree? No, probably not. Oops. I was too greedy. I was too greedy about my jumping. Oh, there's a boar. There's a couple. You're just a couple of boars, aren't you? And I. I eh. Nope, that didn't work. I got him. <laughs> Your meat is mine. Well, I was about to say consensual way, but I don't think anyone consents to dying. Well, most people don't. Alright, time to cook up something delicious. Seafood? Oh wait, I don't have any peppers. What am I thinking? I'm a fool. I'm an idiot. Excuse me, hold on one second, old man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some peppers for you. After I climb up this hill and promptly die when I fall off. Or, um, alert that the goblin. Oh, there he is. He's here! <laughs> He's got a branch! I don't know why I tried to grab that. I have a lot of better things than a branch. <laughs> if you're wielding a tree branch against me, you're basically a foolish peasant. Anyway. <laughs> you know what I just remembered? I just remembered, um, that it was like a clip of Nicki Minaj. I think it was, like, on Instagram Live. And she was... I don't know what the conversation was about, because I've only ever seen it out of context, but she's like, Broke people should never laugh! Uh, it was something to that effect. I don't know, I thought it was funny. But that's what that energy was giving. Broke, Broke people, people should, should never laugh. laugh! Oh, I thought they spotted me. I, I can just hear them, uh, chitter-chattering off in the distance. It's almost nightfall, but I think it's too, too early for me to come and sneak attack on their camp. Don't notice me. I'm very close. Oh, I've been spotted. <laughs> run! Run, Link! Run like your stubby little legs can handle it. Back to the pot. My favorite thing to smoke! I don't condone smoking, uh, by the way. I'm saying that for YouTube reasons. I don't care what you do, just, you know. Make good choices. Personally, I don't smoke. Drinking, on the other hand. <laughs> anyway. All right, Mr. Man. Are you ready to have your eight o'clock dinner? I suck at these accents. It's fun trying them out, but I suck. <laughs> ah, lizard. Oh, I need a, a torch. The word for flashlight in UK. In UK. <laughs> in the UK. It's like I have ADHD brain at the moment. All right. I didn't even have to read your diary. Well, 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 so we meet again. What are you doing? My back is aching. 
You fucking moron. <laughs> Say, courageous one, are you hungry? Um, no, I made something for you because I am just a nice person. Wait, is that... My mother's linguine? That looks just like my signature perfect dish. Spicy meat and seafood fry. I said it with such gusto that it's in the color blue somehow. How did you... Well, I suppose that's not important. Can I trouble you to share the recipe? Huh? I didn't say anything. I think that was just... I said that telepathically or something. <laughs> when did I get your daughter's powers? I mean, not king. Very much old man. Anyway. Oh, of course. Hyrule base. Because that's what that is. <laughs> How could I have forgotten? Just put a... A Stratocaster bass guitar in the in the soup pan and that yeah anyway well done now please allow me to reward your culinary efforts with this warm doublet I'll take a warm triplet thank you anyway mm. with that you'll be able to resist the bite of colder uh, I was about to say elements environments as for me I know a great spicy meat and seafood fry recipe so I can do without that warm doublet also because I'm dead all right goodbye <laughs> see you later I'm going to sleep Ooh, I want frog yeah thank you I just love that link has no real concern for the environment around him he's just like oop take this take this I mean like you know he's a hunter and he's a forager but like link can devastate the landscape it's crazy all right running up the stairs like I'm, what's his name, Sylvester Stallone, in the Rocky movies. Wait, I don't even remember how that song goes anymore. I just remember that first part, and like it kind of just blanks out, because I haven't seen those movies in a long time. A very long time. If I were playing this in master mode right away, that would kind of be foolish on my part, because I feel like I've always sucked in master mode. I am no master, I can tell you. I wish Dazzle Fruits existed in this game. <laughs> Go away! He's gonna poke me with the long pokey stick. Um, yeah, one of these dudes. I think that one over there is gonna wake up. Let me just climb around. Oh yeah! The Switch shirt. Because I'm a Switch. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Where is that chest? Hello? Oh, it's right there. Alright. <laughs> It was ten feet away. All right. Uh, oops. Oh, the freaks are coming out. Cause I got my shirt. I'm gonna wear that. Fuck it. <laughs> I want to wear this. Cause I'm a fan. I love Nintendo and their products. <laughs> I love the idea of just Link um taking an elevator down, trying to press the button to close the door as those um. To goblins or whatever, try to come and get him. He's just frantically pressing, like, faster. Get me out of here, damn it. Bomb trial. And we drop some information into this box of yours. That kind of sounds. Uh, all right, uh, moving on. <laughs> Ooh, remote bombs. It just made me think of, like, uh, bomb flowers. Because they exist in several other games, including the next installment. But, like, how does that work? How would a flower bomb work in real life? Like, what are the components for such a thing? Open, says me. Oh, I don't think I have enough. Yeah. It's a claymore, but my my sack is full. Uh, God damn it. My brain. <laughs> I, I just can only say the, the dirtinest things. The Traveler's Claymore. This is so good in the early game. Throw the bomb. Detonate the bomb. I'm the bomb. Dot com. Yeah. That actually worked out uh, in terms of timing. Go me go. Oh, right. <sighs> Chest. Um, I feel like there's such an ever slight delay between um, my screen and the controllers. I don't know if it's just because I'm playing with the Joy-Cons like, you know, detached as you would for a setup like this. Either that or my settings might need to be updated for OBS. I have no idea. Climb the ladder. 
Face your destiny. Step. Can I have your orb? No, don't touch my box! Oh! It's like Yoda, in a way. Just old and decrepit and gross. But not green. Oh yeah, the bone people are here. Oh, keys and more boons. Give me a keys! Kirby! Oh god, okay. Run! The Boko Club is damaged. Doo -doo 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 -doo. This music, uh, this music is just, I, I have no words. I love it. I love it too much in both games. Remember when that was a complaint that people thought for some weird reason that this game had like no real music? Like, piano works for the wild. Especially like when you're in that, uh, in that part of your life where everyone else is dead and you're the only one left. And you have to save the world. Everyone goes through it. It's very normal, I don't know about you. Sneaking up and... Good morning. I hope your nap was good. I made you eggs. I made some for your friend too. Oh sorry, I got some eggshells in there. Doesn't matter, you're dead. I don't know what this bit was, but it was a bit. <laughs> then we got some of this purple mushroom. Jump. Jump. Oops, I went too far. <laughs> Rush room. This is what cocaine feels like. Right? Isn't that actually kind of a... a subplot in this game or something where... <laughs> that one guy... Ooh, it's a mushroom. Um... Wasn't there that one guy who... had to, like, have 55... Rush rooms or something for... a diamond... or something in exchange? Basically an allegory for drugs. I, I, I don't know if that was clear. <laughs> Thanks for the pepper. <laughs> I just broke into this guy's- Well, I mean, I didn't really break in because he doesn't even have a door. But I just- No. Oops. <laughs> Oops, my stick is on fire. Um, and I just broke in and took his peppers and his mushrooms. Basically everything that he has. Hello. You found me. Ah, bye bye I wonder, is this high enough for me to go into bullet time? Probably not. <laughs> Oh, it is. Prepare to face your doom. You know what? Um, it just made me think of that one line of um, Azula's uh, during the beach episode of Avatar The Last Airbender. So it's Zuko, Tylee, Mei, and uh, Azula. And they win a volleyball match. You will never rise from the ashes of your shame and humiliation. Yeah, it was something like that. Um, I got a fight. Hold on. Ooh. Ah! Oh god, I thought I was gonna fall off the cliff. <laughs> don't stab me with your pokey stick. Oh, don't swing it. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Why am I side jumping? <laughs> it still blocked him. I kept trying to pull back, and uh, I was just going to the side. Got me rocking side to side. Alright, time to test out my bombs in the real world. What's in here, you might ask? Five fire arrows. All right, time for what's currently the biggest challenge on this great plateau. Scaling the rock wall. I could never do this in real life. Like I, um, I have a little bit of a fear of heights. It kind of just depends on like what type of elevated platform I'm on. Um, even when I just watch a video of somebody else doing climbing and like, you know, they look down and you can see like, you know, it's a long way down to the ground. Even that makes me feel uneasy if I can like put myself into that situation, like visualize it. So, um, yeah, you know, it just depends on the, the context. Sometimes I have a fear of heights. <laughs> I need five minutes. All right. I think this cliff face is designed for you to be able to, you know, jump four times, like, uh, each... Oh, what damn! Um, each one is, like, just far enough away that you can use up your stamina without falling off. The design in this game is top-notch. They thought of everything. I mean, duh, it's Nintendo. Alright, stasis trial. Authenticated. 
time to drop a little piss on this slate. And boop. Great. Love to see it. All right, here we go. And freeze, dirt bag. Oops. Button. Button. Oh. For some reason, um, you know what? I must have been thinking of the rewind ability. Because, like, you know how you can, um, rewind something and then you can just deactivate it with the press of the button? I forgot you actually had to, like, look. Um, you had to turn back and look at the thing that you froze in this game. What's in here? Give it to me. So far, that's actually the strongest shield I have. Alright. It's hammer time. Alright. Give me your ball. Ah, shit, there's glass in my eye. Alright, moving on. <laughs> I forgot, I, I already forgot his way in the Switch shirt. It's just funny seeing this ancient monk, this ancient Chica monk in his Chica regalia, and then there's just me in a pair of dusty, musty, and crusty old pants and a Nintendo Switch shirt that somehow, even though it doesn't exist in this world that they know about, breaking the fourth wall much? No, I'm kidding. Anyway, <laughs> one more to go. It's time to... Oop. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. I'm just a mess. I'm always a mess, but I'm just a mess. It's time to endure the cold. Jump. Oh, you know what? I missed a... Uh, I missed the chest or whatever was... Down there, wasn't it? Ah, whatever. This world is full of treasures. And the journey itself is more treasure than anything. So why does it matter? Anyway. Such a good theme for the winter. Like, it, it feels cold when you hear this song. Oh ho ho! I'm Santa Claus. Ah, I enjoy gazing at the world from here. B -b -b Breathtaking view. <laughs> this may this may be the best place to get a full view of the entire plateau. Did you know about the scope on Yashika Slate? I already know. I don't know why I'm talking to you. Got it. Thanks. I only came here to rob your grave. Thanks for the flint. Goodbye. Oop. Okay, I thought that was going to be worse than it was. Yay! Shield surfing. On the snowy slopes. Where... Wasn't there a chest up on that wall? Yes, there is. I remember things. I am big smart brain. And it's bomb arrows. I've been spotted at r and &R. Run, run. Oh, jump, jump. <laughs> Do things. Keh, near it. Kenamut. I have no idea how you're supposed to pronounce these names. Stealth tip. Crouching in a grassy field makes it harder for... You know, I, I always thought that just didn't work for some reason. Maybe I just don't crouch in, <laughs> in tall enough grass. Maybe that's my... Maybe I'm the problem. Cryonis trial. You can cry on these nuts. Authenticated. Distilling rune. Once again. For the umpteen millionth time. Alright. Here goes nothing. Oops. <laughs> Help. Camera. Camera. Ah. Uh, stuck. My rustiness shows. Get blocked. Uh oh. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. I'll shoot you instead. Oop. There we go. Oh, oh, stuck on the wall. I'm pretty sure that's a spear, so I'm not gonna bother. It's a spear, but which one? Brittany? It's Brittany, bitch. Your resourcefulness is blah 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 blah. Take this orb. Goodbye. May the goddess smile upon you. Or whatever. And I already know, old man. Please shut up. Leave me alone. Blah, blah, blah. Extraordinary. Meet me at the Temple of Time or whatever. So, what am I doing? I just teleport. Because that technology already exists. Um, here we go. I want a heart container. 
Oops. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, see ya, Hylia. No, oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Dude, I don't care. I know you're up on the roof. Okay. <laughs> Let me just pray to Miss Hylia. Um, yes, I want a heart container, please. I keep pressing the B button to skip the dialogue, so that's why I backed out of it. Hmm. <laughs> is it Valentine's Day? This is so flattering. Thank you. For your heart container. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. Alright, thank you, ma'am. It's cutscene time. <laughs> Well done there, young one. Thank you. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. Oh no, it's the Grand I Wizard. What? Who? You? I... Electric chair. Look at me, I'm all blue and glowy and floaty. I'm cool. The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path. The Great Calamity is what I call my ass. Century ago, I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. I'd say it's still pretty so fragile. I've that, not remembered a lot. I thought it best to assume a temporary form, ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. Basically, death and destruction. And began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't God, I wonder how long that must have taken to dig through all of that. By the hands of our and it's kind of miraculous that the rock just broke away in this one, uh, in this one clip. These like it all just falls the away. And then, oop, there's a face. Piloted by warriors. Oh, but then, like, that's even more that you have to dig out. Ugh. Army of mechanical soldiers who I wonder how many people died them. doing that. This is, I'm already thinking way too much. <laughs> We selected four Ooh. individuals from across fish person. Them with the duty of oh my god, Urbosa, I forgot she was in this game. Oh, I stand. Step on me, mommy. <laughs> oh, so many people feel that way about, oh, I imagine her, and then especially Lady uh, Dimitrescu, uh, Dimitrescu or whatever, from uh, Resident Evil 8. <laughs> Nay. He responded with a plan beyond our imagining. He jizzed all over our animatronics. Ooh, I'm all pink and red and evil and shit. Whoa. The actual, like, uh, implications and stuff are just, you know, very, very sad. Like, how many thousands of people died that day? In the town? In the castle? Yikes. Yikes, my dude. However, I love how in this lighting Zelda survive. looks like a ginger. Wait, she's always had blonde hair, right? Link. What were the, what were the early games like? I don't know. But like, a ginger Zelda? Ugh. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. And my skin you have been looks good <laughs> after 100 Zelda years, herself. let me just say. Even now, bathing in Pantene, <laughs> bathing in Vaseline for a hundred years. Man, Link, ugh, don't get me started. <laughs> don't get me started. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Paraglider. With that, you should be able to fly away, like a like a bird, like a bird man, like bird person. It has been a challenging mating season for bird person. And I think that's it. I told you everything I can. Link, you must save Hyrule. You got it. And he's like, oh fuck, as he fades away. Alright, to the dueling peaks and beyond. Where all those little bumpy... Well, they're not little. Where all those bumpy mountains are. Over yonder. Let's get into it, yeah. What a beautiful view. Alright, well, I think... There's the menu. Save real quick. I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm a YouTuber. I think that's going to be all for this episode. If you liked everything you saw, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you hit the notification bell to stay up to date. And yeah, that's about it. <laughs> My name's Chaotic, signing off. Bye!